Hey! Uh, it's me. Uh, everybody's 12th favorite YouTuber. Uh, I'm the guy you watch when all the other videos have that little red line on it. Uh, so if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I, I don't do a lot of Fallout, you know, this, uh, 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 get that off the screen. Okay, I might have a small Fallout problem, but you know if I'm doing Fallout on this channel, it's obviously going to be sadistic. And you already might remember if you've been around on this channel for a while that I actually went ahead and did a Fallout 4, but everything's randomized before, which was just a whole bunch of different mods put together. But now, some crazy mother trucker out there has made a Fallout New Vegas, but everything is randomized mod, and boy is it good. Uh, but yeah, we won't beat around the bush too much. Uh, thank you guys for getting me close to 300k subscribers. If you're new around here and want to hit the sub button, feel free to do so. Let's get straight into the chaos. Uh, so, oh, okay, here, yeah, one sec. First problem we've ran into, mount sensitivity appears to be a little bit loco. Let me just move it there. Right, I just need to, oh, definitely not the first, nor the last time I've woken up to a blinding light in a strange old man's house. Let's see what the damage is. I don't want to worry you, old man, but your chair appears to be eating you alive. All right, I guess to keep in uh, theme with the video, we're going to go with pain and suffering to death. Pain and suffering. Uh, for I've grown quite a bit since being shot in the head, or you, my friend, have shrunk. Good. I appear to have been kidnapped by a small man. A very small man. <laughs> Why is he so damn small? I just want to say that it, uh, just because he's small, that is not the reason I'm ransacking his house. Uh, it's not a hate crime. Okay, so I think it's already actually randomized my stats, but you are allowed to change them. I'm just not going to, and we're just going to roll with what we've been randomized here, which um, isn't the worst. I got to say, I would have knocked luck and agility up one more, but uh, eight charisma, eh? That's probably going to stick. All right, uh, the problem here, Dar Mitchell, is uh, I can't see the damn pictures because you're too damn small. That was supposed to come off offensive. It's just a matter of fact. Uh, so, uh, if you've never played Fallout New Vegas before, the game has already selected the best uh, tank ones that you want to get for your skills, which is obviously barter, speech, and survival. <laughs> we're gonna have an interesting game, I believe. Yeah, we're just gonna roll into this whole uh, man who talks all problems away, because I'm just gonna take good-natured. Uh, we're gonna be the man with the biggest mouth in the world. Alright, I just gotta, I gotta follow the little doctor now, and I'll be let loose into the wasteland, and I can only imagine it'll be completely normal from here on out. Actually, quick thought, is he actually a child? Because if he is, I shouldn't be able to murder him, right? <sighs> yeah, he's definitely not a child, I just murdered a dwarf. Well, welcome to the wasteland. You're not normally there. Uh, so I guess the only logical thing to do would be to start the main quest, really, and... Well, Victor. You sure look different. Hold on a second, does that mean Easy Pete might look different too? Easy Pete? I'm kind of worried what I'm going to see upon entering this this damn place. Stay. That's one, one sec. Yeah? That's what an interesting looking dog you got, miss. I mean, I don't want to judge, but um... I think that might eat you at some point. You should probably be a little bit worried. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, okay. You know, uh, that's fine. That's normal. That's not giving me the damn creeps. Hey, at least the, uh, the, the Brahmin things, what they called the Big Horners, they haven't changed. Uh, that's, uh... Why can I talk to it? That, I, is that an NPC? Oh, there's a... There's another little person over here. This one's even smaller. General store can help you out. I wish I could pick you up and throw you like a rugby ball. Um, yeah, I guess we've kind of changed up the type of cattle that we uh that we kind of keep in the future. Those, those damn young uns and their need for exotic meat. Why do you have a giant pipe on your back? Is that a fire hydrant? Uh, you know, uh, I gotta say, considering it is it is twelve in the afternoon right now. Sure was quite dark out. I don't really it's time to become the rootinest, tootinest cowboy in the West and uh, learn how to shoot a bottle now, with the giant mantis. Um, you know, I gotta say, usually should give you a varmint rifle. This is a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, also, the problem is, I'm pretty sure this thing shoots free ammo at a time. 
and I missed. <laughs> so, uh, usually I wouldn't carry on the tutorial here, but I want to see this small woman and her giant manus, which you could probably uh, hop on the back of and write more efficiently, like some sort of manus queen could actually do. Uh, the problems with having a giant flying uh, manus pet is that it does seem to be getting in her way quite a bit. Uh, so that matters just dab. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch All right, geckos. Yes, I think we can take care of that easy. I'll do a precautionary quick save. You know, don't. Okay. That's not a gecko. Y you know, I don't think I will. I don't think. <laughs> I think you got this one covered. Get it, manners. Get. Manus is dead. Slightly disrespectful to loot the dead, but she also had a battle rifle, and she charged at a Lake Lurk King after calling it a gecko, so I get the feeling it's probably in better hands now. Come to the wasteland, they said. The Mojave's a wonderful place this time of year, they said. That's a damn lie. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Now, I'm not gonna ask how exactly the first starting vendor got the Blade of the West, but I probably shouldn't mess with this damn town. Alright, so because uh, we already lost our power to the um, <coughs> geckos, I don't think we can actually do the quest to help Good Springs, so we're gonna go ahead and take them over instead. Uh, which means first things first. That took a lot more than I expected. Oh my god. Okay. Apparently I died in there and went to heaven. Uh, you remember like a couple years back when Trump was memed because he stared into the middle of the eclipse? Well, uh, yeah, this is what he saw. <laughs> this is this is me when I look at Discord light mode. <laughs> Bottom text. Me. Alright, so I'm hoping quite a few of these guys die in the commotion so I can get myself some gear. What a ragtag group of guys we got for this. Alright. Uh, this is going to be one hell of a battle, one that I can't really help him because I have 14 rounds in this laser pistol. Although, you know, it looks like, uh, some of these guys were equipped for the job. Oh, actually, I, uh, this definitely seems a bit one-sided unless they, oh, there's Trudy. There she is. The, the only thing that's going to save her is her small size. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to worry y'all, but there's a giant ant over there. Um, <laughs> she probably... <laughs> Probably keep an eye out for that bad boy. Oh, uh, you know, just a normal Fallout battle here. You have a tiny person beating up another tiny person, and uh, some sort of flying ant just wandering by. Oh, wait a sec. No, apparently. Howdy, partner. My <laughs> <laughs> you know, Victor. If you look like this normally, I'd be more inclined to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Mr. House. Really got away with robotics. It, it looks so lifelike. Uh, right, so uh, everyone's been taken care of here, and I'm just gonna loot what I can from the parts that are left. Um, also, the weather has just suddenly turned very ominous. <laughs> Almost like uh, what I just did to this poor town has been noticed by some sort of deity out there. Uh, you know, I don't want to worry you, Mr. Cobb, but you are. Slightly stuck in the wall there, you know? The real question is if every enemy is randomized, what would happen if I just simply ran north to New Vegas then? Cause surely we won't have to deal with any of those high level enemies, right? You know, my mom only ever taught me two lessons in life, and that's uh, never go to Liverpool, and never trust a cat's door. What the hell was that? Oh, it's just a spore carrier. Uh, should be able to take care of that. Yeah. No problem. All right, so, so we've just got a couple geckos after me right now. I'm not too worried. No cancer doors, no death claws, no giant rad scorpions. We should be fine. In fact, I really hope we don't run into any of them because I don't have any ammo. Oh, you know, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm getting set on fire by a mad robot, but that's pretty normal. Oh, is that death claw? Okay, that's a tiny little death claw. Uh, we should be fine, I think. Can I ran I can outrun that. There's no problem whatsoever. That's right, everybody. Getting to New Vegas is that easy. Simply follow that path. Wink. Do it right now. Um. Okay. There's some sort of ruckus going on over there. Uh. There's a tiny death claw. Sentry bot. That's now angry at me. And a very small, small death claw. Um. 
There's also a giant rat part here. Uh, okay, I kind of want to loot that guy's stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna hit and run this party. Uh, you know, we'll just grab it all. And then we'll buckaroo out of here from the the oh that he saw me. Uh, you know, that's um, that's a really big ant. I don't even want to know what's going on there. Oh, you know, I'd be. Sometimes you just go to the giant ant farm and um. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. It's randomized raiders. And, uh, yep. Okay. Randomized raiders not a good idea because they've got quite the arsenal. Uh, okay. Uh, usually these raiders aren't too much of a hassle. But, you know, in the scenario where they can have any single weapon in the game, uh, they're becoming a, a bit of a hassle. Oh, great. Okay. So, I think the NCR are up here. So, we'll just go, we'll go over to them and see if they got anything for us. Sure, for an NCR trooper. Um, right, so NCR equipment does appear to be a bit more liberal than I imagined. You know, if I was going to pick anyone to defend me out here in the wasteland, it's the guy with one oven mitt on. This guy can do a lot of damage. Uh, <laughs> quick question: <laughs> Where, where'd you pick that up from? <laughs> uh, yeah, who? Okay. I think I might have walked it upon something here, but you know what? That means free equipment for me is you just beheaded this tiny man. Yeah, you know, just some casual remnants power armor. It's just lying around like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Problem is, I kind of want that Lego mask. Um, double pop my homie in the chest, and maybe my 8 charisma can help explain this to him. Look as close as I physically can. 92%. There you go. Uh, <laughs> just gotta quickly get these guys. Before. Oh, okay, yes. Tiny person with a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, you know, I, find, I kind of feel bad. Like, <laughs> come here, buddy. Let me put you out your misery. Was that a hate crime? Uh, you know, the thing is, after killing all these randomized enemies, is I've got a lot of gear. Okay, a lot of gear. Uh, yeah, I got every damn weapon in the world. A load of them are really overpowered. Problem is, I don't have a single bit of ammo for most of them. Oh no, yeah, that's that's never really a good sign when a man with a bonnet starts running at you in a stealth suit. Uh, unfortunately for you, my friend, uh, is that I've run out of ammo once. So we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Come back. No one saw that. Yeah. I gotta say, the weather sucks balls. Yeah, you know, just one minute you're walking around like everything's normal. Next minute, you're on the surface of the sun, baby. Sure do see a lot of interesting things out here in the Mojave. Sure do see a lot of interesting things. Uh, don't alarm you, friend. I think you might want to go get checked by a doctor. Alright, okay, so usually to get onto the strip, we usually disguise ourselves as an NCR trooper and use the monorail. Uh, problem is, we're gonna need to find some NCR armor to do that, which, uh, usually isn't too hard to find, but in this circumstance, might be a little bit difficult. Oh, actually, yeah, in fact, what about these guys in here? Have they... Just, uh... The tiny man and a big man <laughs> eating lunch. <laughs> uh, don't look wearing or finding any armor just yet. I'm checking everywhere I. I don't think you should be wearing that right there. Uh, okay, so, uh. Luckily, the monorail is guarded by two homeless people, so we might have a good shot at getting onto it. Oh? I think we're in luck. Uh, problem is, how do we manage to stealth kill this person without the person outside finding... I see you're dressed for the occasion. I do have that Chinese stealth armor, but do I have anything powerful enough to do what I need doing? That count as a stealth kill. How did you not hear it? Ahem, <clears throat> you know, nothing to see here, just, uh... Don't go in there. Alright, uh, this means that the two homeless people shouldn't, uh, 
Yep, they shouldn't have a problem with me. You guys are doing the Lord's work out here. I just head on fruit, don't mind me. Um, right, you've got uh, one of those flamer things, and you're guarding the door with a grenade. Brave soul. Oh my god, is that a coyote? Please, do not stand in the mountains. Damn. I smoke crack on that train? Oh, we live in one hell of a world, eh? Uh, you, no one worried, no one worried about that. I told my wife, she's good looking for a ghoul. It's just too bad she's not a ghoul. Aye, aye, aye. I, tried to I, I don't think the deaf claw gets a joke. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to Mr. House. You seem a little smaller than last time. Uh, yeah, I, I just got like a, a sudden rush to the heart. I think, uh, yeah, don't do that to me. Ah, uh, I uh, see so you've really gone all out on security, eh? Uh, only the best, you know? You, um. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? All right. Okay. So the thing here. I have to is that I've smoked a lot of crap. I mean, you're right. I've definitely never seen anything like this place before. The inside of your mole rat nostril. All right, I guess I'll... I'll be on my way. Mr. House. All right, get me out of here. Oh. Well, good to see you're taking the current circumstances very serious, mister. But you're, um... You got a hole there for a tactical goatee, I see. Alright, tell you what, I want to go check out the king and see what he's up to. Uh... So he's working on a new uniform policy. I ain't gonna say anything. Alright, so mostly I wanted to check out Rex. Interesting dog you have there. Did you notice the bodyguard? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. It's a small child with a machine gun running after a mole rat. I swear to god, Fortnite has done something to these kids. Okay, you actually look like you can handle yourself. Uh oh. Oh wait, that's the bodyguard. Not this guy. <laughs> Seems a little overkill. Yeah, he's, he's still going. Uh, you, you tried shooting the thing? Uh, so the small man in a dress is going to protect me on my way to the strip. Um, I don't think I need much protecting. No, he's uh, he's getting straight to work. Uh, I think you got it, buddy. Maybe. I don't think he's got it. What does that mean for the quest? <laughs> Alright, whatever gun that is, I kind of want it. Oh. That's not- There we go. That didn't go too well. There you go, much better the second time, and yep, that's an alien blaster! Um, so I guess we can say mission failed, right? So usually he'd come around this corner and shoot some guys, right? Okay, this time I don't think- Yep, okay, I'm out of here. Oh, we approach the- Yep, the sneak attack did not work well. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of an awkward conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know that guy you paid me to follow and see if he was running a scam? He got turned into an ash by a man with an alien weapon. Um, well, technically, yeah. Uh, Sorry, sir, but you must be this tall to play the table. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, I really need to go to the gun runners. We need to sort out this equipment situation because uh, whilst we do have ammo for this gun now, the, the rest is not looking too good. Oh, well, um... You're a little bigger than usual. Oh my, is that a yellow Among Us? Uh... Big concern where you got that thing. Uh, 
you know what? I'm gonna take a second try at that because that was pitiful. I can't believe I actually missed. All right, so usually the shootout ain't too bad. I get a feeling it might be a bit more difficult than usual though. Yeah, I just got mini nukes. All uh, right, so the problem I keep having is mini nuke McGee over here. Um, he keeps one tapping me as soon as I go around this corner. So. Don't even know where he was. Uh, you know, around 52. Oh, there he is. We got him on the ropes. Just gotta get close. Maybe not. Oh my god, he's got no help. This guy. <laughs> this guy could suck my bull. It's literally the battle of the ages here. My, my vats is so terrible because my guns are so low that there's, there's nothing I can do. Uh, so you yeah, ever wondered why going full charisma and put all your skill points into barter doesn't pay out too well? Just look at my aim. That should tell you enough. I got him. I finally got it. This fat man is mine now. And I will use it to finish off your comrades, my friend. Oh no. This poor man. He's been turned into spaghetti. Uh, also, just in case you thought I wasn't keeping in theme with the game, I am i am only <laughs> leveling up father of speed. Ah, uh, so look at this man. You'd hand over your sister in a heartbeat and you know it. Alright, uh, okay, we did GI Blues, but now I kind of want to go see Benny. I need to see Benny. Um, I think I just got... Yep, I just got ambushed. Okay, gonna need some help. Help, help. That's just more people to ambush me. Help, 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 robots. Help, 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 help. Why aren't you helping me, dog? Why aren't you helping? Damn. I think you need to see a doctor, my friend. You too. I'm just got eaten by a death claw. Well, security is definitely tight around here. Um, what? Um, you know, I think, I think Skeletor over there is holding me hostage. Hey, this time it worked, and you're not a skeleton anymore. I had to reload the whole game to get out of that soft lot. Oh, well, you know what time it is? <laughs> Damn. I really wonder what I'm gonna have to pick from my intel. Oh, it's Corinth. Uh, yeah, Benny. You got quite the honor, Raj. I know. It's quite surprising that I'm alive, right? It might be because I found an item called Birth Skirt, which turns me into a muscly woman with a towel on her. All right, so the problem is taking care of Benny appears usually pretty difficult anyway, because of no weapons, but I have even less of a choice now because I can't open the safe. Um, what else can we find? All right, this ain't looking too good. All I found was this child's police hat. How is it too big for my head? I got a pool cue. Question is, what weapons Benny got? Now that you and me's <laughs> to be fair, it's, um, Really, it's the battle of the ages, isn't it? It's all right. Any minute now. All right, we'll, we've almost got him. We've, got, we've literally got him backed into a corner now. There's no way he's getting out of this one. Come on, we can do this. Look at that. Easy as that. Oh, I leveled up. Well. <laughs> all right, okay. Thank God, yes man's normal. I gotta say. That's quite the impressive trick. Um... I kind of want to know where you guys have been, that one of you's wearing a hazmat suit, and one of you's wearing his underpants. Exactly what environment and circumstances are you traversing together? You know, I gotta say, uh, the new and improved uh, NCR outfit is, um... It's quite summon. Rolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You see, I'm a, such a smart man, an intellectual, you could say, that I'm too clever for these NCR plebeians. They should be able to tell immediately from my 
big brain that needs a really big hat to cover it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of whatever's down there. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna politely leave. Uh, I I'm no coward. It's just my big brain has a big survival instinct. And I see a big, big scary death claw. I don't go into this big scary death claw. Uh, at the moment though, we wanna go ahead and get ourselves to Cottonwood Cove so we can check out um, the Caesar's hot. Um, so how'd you get out here? I, I, I guess Mr. House was, um... <laughs> just out for a, a brisk walk in the, in the darkness. <laughs> um, it does have me very interested into what Mr. House actually looks like. We should, we should probably check that out at some point. All right, let's go see what monstrosity lies behind <laughs> the, the legion. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. They've got little people doing all the heavy lifting. I don't know what am I going to expect coming into here. But I wasn't expecting that. Well, you've certainly got the best people for the job. Okay. Um, I was going to attempt to murder you, but I only have my fists. And that guy's looking pretty hungry, so we're just going to... We're just gonna leave. I'm just saying. This right here. This is a funny sitcom waiting to happen. Super mutant and tiny man. He's so small and he's so big. They're a weird team. They're, they're kooky and funny. Ha ha ha. It's probably on NBC. I cannot believe that the game has crashed. The end of times are clearly upon us. Or perhaps perchance I may have installed a mod that <laughs> might have some unforeseen circumstances. <clears throat> oh, good day to you, Mr. Mantis. <clears throat> oh, good day to you, Mr. Mr. Ratroach. Just uh, don't mind me. Just gonna head up. Oh, I um, I accidentally went to the high roller suite. Good to see you. You made it, Mr. House. Where to, partner? Alright. Oh. Hold on a second. Why are you a death claw now? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? This is gonna go badly, isn't it? Don't mind me, 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 don't mind me. Alright, so since we've seen Mr. House twice already in the random wasteland, I'm not too sure what's about to pop out of here. Uh... Are you just normal Mr. You? You're just normal Mr. House. I'm actually slightly disappointed that you're not a giant death claw, like your, um, older ego outside. Alright, I mean... I got nothing better to do than shoot you now, so... I just missed. I... I just missed a point blank range. You know what? Never mind. I guess you're gonna stay alive forever. Oh, I leveled up again. I guess I'll put more into speech and uh, more into barter. And uh, I, I should probably get intense training again because uh, some of my stats are quite low, quite far behind the others. So I should probably catch up with the rest, you know? Um... So now that we've dealt with Mr. House, is no one gonna... Get rid of this? Oh! Uh, this is a little fun luck at the Fallout New Vegas randomizer mod, as you can see. It's an absolute chaos, and uh, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, <laughs> crashed a couple times, but honestly, just a couple times is quite impressive for something like... One second! Uh, no joke. Game unironically just crashed after I blew her head up. So, what was I saying about it crashing only a couple times? Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below if you want to watch more Fallout content, especially. There is quite a few on my channel, which, uh, should probably pop up on the end screen. So, if you want to keep going down the rabbit hole of ISP videos, feel free to click one of those. But until next time, guys, I'm gonna, uh, see you around, because I need to go make more videos. <laughs> Once every month. <laughs>